Good morning, everybody. Five Farley here. It is uh, April 10th, Tuesday, and we are down to the final game or two in the NBA. Two days, final two days of the NBA, depending on which team you are. Some teams have two games left. Uh, most of them have one game left. And so we are looking a lot at motivation here. Who's starting? Who's resting? Who's uh, amped up to play? Uh, who's not? So, um, Boy, we got a lot of movement going on. We got a lot of heavy money coming in on one side versus the other. I'm actually going to run through the whole slate of games, and then I'm going to get down to my best pick so far for the day. All right. Um, real quick, yesterday I uh, had a good win uh, there with New Orleans uh, on the road at uh, at the Clippers. Um, it, it was as suspected. It, New Orleans got out to a lead in the first half, but then just ran it up in the second half. Clippers throwing in the season and uh, walk away with a 13-point win. Um, could have been a 20-plus point win, but 13, I'll take it. Uh, it was never really close. But uh, Moving on to today. Okay, so we got uh, Charlotte Hornets going to the Pacers. Open up at 6, down to minus 3, and continuing to move down. 54% uh, 54, 54 of the tickets are on the Pacers. Big money, though, coming in on the Hornets. So if you're looking at side on this one, I would look at the Hornets side. Uh, second game, 76ers at the Hawks. Uh, 76ers actually have motivation in this game. Uh, there are two games that have major motivation. This is one of them. 76ers have the third spot, uh, beating Cleveland uh, a few days ago. And by beating Cleveland, they take over the third spot, which is key in that. Not only does that get you home court advantage, that gets you a second round game. Um against uh, the, the, the two seed instead of the one seed, uh, which would be Boston instead of Toronto hosting uh, in that series. So that's a key spot to be in the third spot versus the fourth. And believe me, the, the Cavs want to get that third spot back. Um, so 76ers, it's up to them to be able to win this out and hold on to that three spot. So I look for them to have a uh, game here um, at Atlanta, we got 82% of the tickets on the 76ers, while 55% of the money is on the Hawks, and it's gone from 8.5 to 9.5 for the 76ers. Here we are, Celtics at Wizards. Open up at 4.5, up to 7 now. 55% of the tickets on the Wizards, 52% of the money on the Celtics. Um, Brad Stevens did make a statement about how odd it is to end the season without motivation. Um, I think he's a little concerned about throwing away games. Uh, he knows how hard it is to win in the NBA. He had a very sh fair shot at winning against Atlanta, and he threw the game away in the fourth quarter by putting in backups and letting Atlanta come back by 13 points behind to win the game outright. Um, so he's made a statement that he's going to uh, play his starters as much as possible um, so that said, we do have four and a half opening up to seven, um, while money, it's kind of a stubborn line move, uh, going the other way. So, uh, I, I kind of want to see where the next move is from seven. It's been on seven since yesterday, since last night. So I want to see where this goes next. Uh, Suns at Mavericks, neither team playing with much motivation. Mavericks open up six and a half favorites down to three and a half now. 51% of the tickets on the Suns, 88% of the money on the, the Suns. This might be a game that goes under the radar. So if there's inside information, if there's uh, uh, some, it looks like the value is coming in on the Phoenix Suns here. Um, uh, looks like they might be uh, playing all starters while Dallas is rotating in some younger guys. Uh, not that the Suns aren't all younger guys. Okay, here's a big game. Warriors at the Jazz. So four and a half is the opening line, up to seven and a half now with the Utah Jazz. Jazz have all the motivation in the world at the three spot, again, that key three spot, versus dropping down to four, five, six, or seven by the end of the day. They could essentially fall that far with a loss to the Warriors. Jazz have also played the Warriors well. That said, the Warriors have had a complete dichotomy in, in who they were versus who they are uh, now. Uh, Steve Kerr is trying to get them to play more defense, and the line has dropped from 213.5 down to 211.5. Uh, but if you want to play a side, I, I, the Jazz, I think, is the way to go. 57% of the tickets on the Jazz, 77% of the money, so bigger money coming in on the Jazz as well, which has pushed that line up. <clears throat> Lastly, Rockets at the Lakers. I really like this one. Uh, we got uh, eight and a half opening line in favor of the Rockets, of course. Best record in the NBA. Why wouldn't you? And it's down to minus eight 
uh, in favor of the Lake or, or in favor of the Rockets. Uh, again, traveling to LA, 74% of the tickets are on the Rockets. However, 61% of the money is on the Lakers. So check out a quote I have from Mike D'Antonio as he's talking about playing time for this game. I'm going to try and jump to it as quick as I can. Sorry for any downtime as I find it. Uh, da -da -da -da. So, there's a quote. Here's what he says. Okay, we're going to be very careful with whoever plays. Let's put it that way, says Mike D'Antonio. Uh, when we play, we're going to play hard. It might be for three quarters. It might be for a half. It might just be for a quarter. That'll be determined. So he's already prepping. Most every coach as they go into a game says, we're going to give it our all because they have to. Uh, meanwhile, Mike D'Antonio is even saying that, yeah, well, we're going to give it our all for like, you know, maybe a quarter. <laughs> he's already prepping that, you know, we're going to play some backups. There are a few guys, Ryan Anderson, Eric Gordon, that he said are going to be on the bench. Um, and those guys are, you know, often coming off the bench. Uh, but uh, you know, I don't see the Rockets putting in their all. Meanwhile, the Lakers, this is their last home game of the year. Um, you know, they have been playing fairly competitive. The last two games they had are against teams that needed to win, Minnesota and Utah. So they lost those games big, and they could lose this game big as well if it were two weeks ago. But here in the last game of the season, the Rockets are going to be folding it up. The Lakers, you can have your time and give me plus eight at home. That's going to be my pick of the day. It's going to be Lakers plus eight. Uh, for any other picks here throughout the day, which there may be, I'm going to throw them down in the comments. So uh, be aware of that. Uh, come back, visit the, uh, the video to uh, check for any updates. Subscribe if you haven't so you can get an update that way as well. And uh, throw your, your picks down below if you can. Uh, if you have any insight on a game, um, I'd love to hear it. Uh, throw it down below. That's been effective here in the past. So check other people's comments as well. And uh, good luck, everybody. I'll see you again soon.